How you going guys? So I've had my boat license for about 18 years now and it wasn't until two years ago we bought a boat. I didn't realize what we were missing out on. So I said, stuff it, I'm not wasting any more time. Um, we're getting the boat of our dreams. So here she is. It's a Yellowfin seven meter hardtop uh, made by Tellwater, who also make Quintrex. Uh, the boat itself on the trailer with the motor is about 8.2 meters in, in length and roughly three meters in height. So I'm really lucky I've got a garage that it fits in. On the back, we've got a Mercury Verado 225 horsepower supercharged engine. As you can see there, the actual motor itself, I have to tilt it down and turn it all the way to one side. And it literally just fits. And the actual tow hitch or the, the tow tongue is right on the money. Um, so a quick walkthrough, Saka anchor, electric winch, Definitely an upgrade coming from a four meter boat, uh, a boat catch system. So basically helps with the ease of retrieve and launching. Aluminium trailer, dual axle. You didn't hesitate putting up the, the Tab Ventures logo straight away. Let me know what you reckon. There's a one kilowatt transducer, trim tabs, walk through transom. So this locks in place while underway or towing. Just easy access to walk through rather than hopping over. Lots of deck space compared to our previous boat. Premium bait station here. Good thing about this unit, I've retired my tackle box and everything's in here. Now the challenge is filling all this up. So all our current gear isn't, isn't made for the the places this boat can take us, so I'm gonna to have to upgrade all my tackle and even some of the fishing rods. Dual marine batteries. Live bait tank. Um, under, the, under the chairs, there's some storage here on the left. Esky sits underneath the driver's seat. These seats here fully swivel around, so if you're trolling and, and whatnot, could be sitting here, let's have a look. So these seats, ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, You can flip these around. So you sit down and rest, or have lunch underneath the, the hard top and um, watch the rods at the back. Plenty of rod holders. Three on each side of the gunnels. Five rocket launchers at the top. Four over here by the bait station. So inside the cabin, VHF radio, uh, Simrad NSS Evo 3. This one's a 12 inch model. So we're actually, I'm actually coming from a Lawrence unit, so uh, this is all foreign to me. I'm gonna have to learn it as I go. Um, in fact, there's a lot of learning I need to do just, just operating the boat overall. Um, vessel view gauge here, so basically it tells me everything I need to know that the motor's doing. Um, in fact, everything's digitized, so there's nothing analog here apart from the compass. 3129 available for this device. Do you want to download it? Download. Right, there you go. So I've already thrown all the fishing spots that I've got on here. Feel free to record some if you're quick enough to pick one up. So I've got all the switches here for the various lights, bait tank, deck wash, bilge pump, and so forth. Multimedia unit, play music, gotta have that. Um, let's go through the cabin here. So this one, this is not standard, but you can get this as an option, and it's um, a privacy screen or a, a fly screen. Let's turn the cabin light on, that's better. Hopefully this is not flickering underneath here. It's got the infill here. So it gives you that sleeping area or, or just storage. One particular feature I, I really like 
is access all the way around. So, so there's handrails up here. So as I'm fishing or need access to the front, basically walk all the way around the boat. Oh shit, gotta be careful here. All right, let that go. Now I've been out on the boat already. In fact, I wanted to, I really wanted to christen the boat with a tuna. Um, I went out with a family friend last weekend, spent most of the day out down south and um, found ourselves just bird watching if anything, just definitely tuna around. We only had one hookup and we, in the moment that it counted, the drag was set too tight and um, it snapped off. So a massive learning curve. It was very disappointing given it's a, it was a full day out in deep water and um, you know we just had really high hopes. So I might try again in the next few weeks. Um, let me lick my wounds a little bit. So stay tuned on that. We had a bit of an issue getting the boat here to, to Adelaide. So the, the freight company are hired to bring it back. Um, the driver strapped the boat onto the back of the truck. Um, actually, I received the photos and I didn't think much of it. That's when they discovered that the actual straps across the boat scratched the sides of the gunnel. Um, bit of a disappointing feeling, to be honest. I was so excited to pick up the boat only to find out that they've uh, they've damaged it a little bit, so uh, yeah, the freight company was really apologetic. In fact, they, they took care of everything and arranged the, the repair, and so I couldn't have asked for a better response than that, so everything, everything worked out. So that's a quick tour of the boat. Let me know what you think. Subscribe and all that jazz. Um, otherwise, stay tuned for future videos.